Yeah, really interesting, isn't it, that Sajid Javid, the man who first resigned from Boris Johnson's cabinet last week, the man who started essentially the House of Cards falling apart and made a pretty eviscerating speech after Prime Minister's Question Time only last Wednesday didn't make the cuts into the first round. Of course, that threshold was sat at 20 MPs to get in to the first round. Uh, he is not in it. It'll be interesting to see where his supporters over the next 12 hours or so, where do they go? Will he kind of formally back anyone in this uh, race. But yes, we've now got eight candidates in the first round who want to be the next leader of the Conservative Party, the next Prime Minister. Where we go from next, Michelle, is that voting will take place in Parliament behind me in a secret ballot, if you like, between 1.30 and 3.30 tomorrow afternoon. We should get a result, I would have thought, pretty quickly after 3.30 in the afternoon about who uh, has made it through to the second round and as always as they try and whittle down these numbers that threshold goes from 20 to 30 so you'll need 30 MPs to get through uh, to the second round which will almost certainly be on Thursday who would you think out of that would definitely get through well almost certainly Rishi Sunak given the fact that he's got over 40 or 50 public backers already you would have thought also Penny Mordaunt and Liz Truss would do the same uh, clearly some of them I think will struggle with that maybe Nadim Zahawi maybe so well of Raverman, maybe Jeremy Hunt as well. And that's where it gets really complicated and really unpredictable, doesn't it, in this political game, is that it is where those supporters end up, uh, which is crucial in determining who then goes on into the further and further uh, rounds. But it still remains a pretty wide open field, eight candidates in total. It's not a stage at which you start making predictions about who may well end up in the final two.